friends welcome to my channel science icon now we are discussing about the gravitation as we know that each particle of the universe attract to another particle of the universe by some force is known as gravitation gravitational force there are many examples of gravitational force like sun rotates in our universe and moon rotates around the earth and planet rotates around the sun these are examples of gravitations yes. now write it there are two particles having mass m1 and m2 so the distance between them is r r, yeah, r. according to newton's law it is states that at the law of at the force of attraction between them is directly proportional to product of their masses m1 and m2 where m1 is a mass of body 1 and m2 is mass of body 2 and it also states that that force is universally proportional to square of distance between them a square of distance between them and we got two equations equation 1 and 2 by combination of this equation equations 1 and 2 we get f is directly proportional to m1 m2 by r square f equals to z m1 m2 by r square where G is gravitational constant. Gravity. The force which H the earth attract any body is known as gravity the force which the earth attract any body is known as gravity we know that that force between gravity force between earth and a body e earth body equals to so f equal to mg we also known from the newton's gravitation law so f equals to z m m by r square where capital m m is mass of earth small m mass of body from equation 1 and 2 we get f equals to mg equals to g m m by r square then mg mg equals to g m m by r square where mass of body is 
small m i mass of body then we get g equals to z m by r square where small g acceleration due to gravity gravity g is gravitational constant r is dis distance between body and earth earth if body put if body put on the earth then r becomes radius of earth 